Ni hao and welcome back. Peace be upon you. It's your Tekken Ninja Muhammad. I hope you're having a great day. I'm having a great weekend myself also. Uh, today we'll be doing unboxing and review of another uh, projector for your home, for your classroom, uh, depends for your studio, whatever you want to use it for. This is from the Bowmaker Cinema 500 Max. Uh, it's selling under $200. So you can buy it from the official site. I'll leave the buying links in the description and also a discount coupon. So the main selling points is this is a full native 1080 P projector with a dual band Wi-Fi connectivity, multi-touch button, Bluetooth 5.0 and low input lag guys. Uh, anyway, let's quickly jump to my studio table, see what we have inside of this box and immediately project something over the wall. We're gonna test obviously the UI of this projector, uh, YouTube watching 4K videos and gaming all together. Enjoy! Okay, Ninja, so the, what are more of the features, let's just say like that, uh, it does have 8,000 lumens brightness, 4K support, uh, out with 4K, obviously this is still native 1080p, 2.4G and 5G Wi-Fi connectivity, dual band Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5.0, uh, you can also use Office via USB pen drive, 4P K-Stone and minus 60% zoom out. I love that, I love that about this uh, projector, it's an amazing uh, stuff to have and of course remember we have uh, uh, AirPlay and Mirecast enabled for Android and iOS devices. What is a little bit kind of tricky and not fair that they have kind of say, they say occupied with Android 6.0 system, which is not true. I don't know why they have left a really misleading information of their website, so I hope they can remove that. And well, let's continue with the practical reviews. Okay, just welcome back. Uh, yes, here we go, finally. Uh, to be honest, uh, immediately I have to tell you that I'm very happy and glad what I'm seeing right now with this uh, Bowmaker projector. The UI itself, it looks very kind of, let's say, cheerful. Cheerful. I, I, I just was like, wow, what a nice UI here. The home screen is very, very nice. And we, uh, you can see by itself that we have Mirecast, IS Cat, IS uh, Cast, obviously Mirecast for Android devices, two HDMI ports and AV port, of course, for all the... A traditional connection and office suit photo category movie and uh, audio uh, on the top right on the top right corner of course you can see here the settings but these settings you can even uh, access simply with the controller it's very simple there's a one simple click here and gonna go immediately to the of course uh, option settings we have bluetooth settings yes remember this projector does have a bluetooth uh, projection image settings so you can project obviously if you want to project in reverse or on the wall you can do that keystone advanced you can go side or front you can even manually do the keystone you can see myself over here check this out it's awesome man <laughs> you probably can notice that that is that is beautiful that is seriously beautiful we're gonna go side front digital zoom also we can use digital zoom if you want to use that Check this out. Nice, man. Seriously nice. I love what I'm seeing here with this projector. Uh, very simple, obviously, settings, but very useful settings. Also, believe it or not, this uh, projector uh, re received an update. Here you go. Optimization for online upgrade and optimize the AirPlay experience for iOS devices. Superb. And other settings, we have just basic settings, power on uh, option, etc., etc. Uh, you can, of course, uh, throughout the settings and through the controller, there's also option for the night mode, basically to put the projector on sleep. You can put it like after half hour or so. And let's go immediately jump to movie here. Uh, by the way, I'm gonna just shut up right now. First, what we're gonna do is without anything, see this uh, fan noise. So let me bring up uh, the microphone all the way close to the fans. So guys, I would say from one to 10, I will give it seven and a half score of the loudness. Obviously it higher uh, score, higher level, it means that it's bad. Lower, it means that it's good. And uh, for this price tag, for such a huge projector, completely acceptable. I didn't ex expect something like, you know, to be honest, Xiaomi projectors of this similar price tag of 200 bucks, they do have uh, more quiet fans. Uh, anyway, we're gonna go immediately jump here. Let's check this out. Very bright, very bright projector. I love how bright it is. I think 8,000 lumen, uh, lumens, yeah, brightness. Beautiful, 1080p native support, guys. Remember that obviously you can have a 4K output, but this is a native 1080p and the sharpness of this projector is beautiful. I'm gonna just come close here right now. You can see myself here, the projection size. Uh, the distance is maybe, let me just check it out, 
two, two, two meters and 20 centimeters, two and a half meters, let's just say, the projection uh, distance right now. And you probably can see right now, very beautiful, very beautiful. I love the colors. It's superb. You can also use, check it out, standard mode or the lightness mode. Standard mode for the night, I would advise you to use the, uh, of course, standard mode for the night. Don't use it too much. Lightness and uh, like you see myself here, off 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes uh, regarding the sleep mode. Okay, just here we go. We have some gameplay, uh, 1080p gameplay. Looks also awesome. This is Forza Horizon 4, I think so. Uh, looks amazing. Uh, to be honest, I don't think I downloaded this sample at 4K. While well, the previous sample, it is downloaded in 4K, so that was a 4K video output. While this one, I think is 720p that I downloaded. I can see that it's not that sharp as the previous video. But you can see by myself that the frame rate is beautiful frame it is beautiful of course we're going to do some gaming uh, with the Mirecast using a phone so stay tuned for that one uh, anyway let's go back we're going to select right now and check the sound speakers the speakers basically let's go here to audio side and let's play something at maximum volume let's go So very interesting, but I don't see here an option to lower. Ah, I can't. I can't we'll have to go here, maybe. Ah, I see. Wow! 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 Okay, guys, this is very impressive. <laughs> this is very impressive. Uh, kills, obviously, the Xiaomi projected for this price tag. This is over loud. This is overkill regarding the loudness. And obviously, on the, loud, uh, on the loudest speaker volume here, you're not gonna, not gonna even hear the fans, man. But again, when you watch some maybe documentary or movie, when there's a silence, uh, silence, you're gonna probably hear the fans. So that's maybe a bit annoying. I repeat again, it's not super, super loud, but uh, I wish that it is more quiet. Anyway, let's check another song here, track. This is a cappella beatbox, no music instruments, only voices. Checking different audio modes. Okay, just I think you get the point. <laughs> Shocking. This is uh, for sure, guys. I tested like what the heck, dozens and dozens of projectors in my la in last four or five years. This is the loudest projector that I ever tested in my life. Seriously, especially for this price tag, this is less than 200 bucks. This is an amazing, amazing sound quality. Not just that it's very loud, but the sound quality is also superb. Superb. Let's check here some pictures for the end before moving to gaming for the end. Uh, anyway, check this out. Okay, let's go to the next one. Awesome. These are some 2K wallpapers downloaded. Very sharp. Very, very sharp, man. Love it. Love it. You can obviously zoom here if you want. Check this out, guys. Zooming in. Let's go to the next one. Zoom in again. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. That's it. It's going again. Another one coming. House. Goku. Awesome. Awesome. Anyway, uh, that should be it, guys. So let's go hit here the home screen. I think we tested everything here in the, in the field. <laughs> Uh, let's go now and test a bit of gaming for the end. Uh, I'll also probably use a Mirecast, but I'm going to use uh, also uh, HDMI cable for the gaming, of course, because of the delay uh, input, it's better to have an HDMI gaming. You probably know this. Stay tuned. Okay, and just here we are, testing right now HDMI with my smartphone, connected with my smartphone to uh, this projector. And uh, right now, just showing you 4K YouTube. And you can see by itself, so far it looks really good. 
Of course, the HDMI cable is just way better than uh, MicroCast, but I will be also ch uh, checking the MicroCast support there. Okay, just now we are playing a little bit here over my phone. I'm using a very old uh, Samsung S10e. You can see myself, we are playing Asphalt 8 over the projector. It looks very good, very sharp, clean picture, very bright also image. And uh, I'm, I'm loving what I'm seeing here. This is a, a really a proper gaming projector for sure. Uh, I repeat again, guys, this is an HDMI connected gaming version. Yes, uh, of course, a lot of people don't have a device, a smartphone that has, a, uh, of course, a NHL video output, which basically most of the OnePlus flagship Samsung, Huawei smartphones have this support. And also, I think so, Vivo, Red Magic, and some other gaming devices. Unfortunately, Xiaomi doesn't have this option, guys. So, it's sorry for that. Sorry for that. Uh, anyway, let's go next. Okay, just walking back, playing right now Bullet Force with, uh, with my phone over this projector. Nice. Very loud speakers, guys. This is a maximum volume. This is... Probably you can judge by yourself. So loud. A proper gaming projector. Seriously, a proper gaming projector here. Just so here we go. I'm also right now using a Mirecast 2K resolution test uh, with the Samsung over this projector. And so far, what I'm seeing here, I'm seeing here lags at 2K. So I'm gonna just drop it to uh, 1080p. Let me just go here to 1080p. Let's see what's gonna happen with 1080p. I hope it's gonna be uh, obviously more fluid, more smooth. And let me just check it out a little bit. Let's go. I repeat again guys, I can see that it does have a bit of hiccups, uh, so I'm not that uh, impressed by the Marcas. I knew this, I knew this man, it's very very rare to find a great projector for specifically for wireless connectivity with the Marcast uh, if you want to have, especially the gaming, I mean the gaming is off hand man, you, you shouldn't even use the gaming right now with this uh, in, in using Marcast, it's impossible, probably also because of a lot of delays and everything, so skip that. You, the maximum which you can do is just use Facebook or watching something on the, over the YouTube with the Marcast. That's it. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed in this small short review. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, everything is included. I hope you find it helpful for you. So see you till next time and have a great one. Masalama.